This is so true. I love Nina Turner. And this is just an excellent example of a limiting belief that many people have when it comes to people who are unhoused or people who are struggling financially. There's this false notion of just pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. But so many of the things that are available to anyone in the middle class or upper classes just aren't available to people who are suffering from food insecurity, housing insecurity, or don't have consistent or reliable income. You can't start a business if you can't afford food to eat. You can't start a job if you can't afford the, the clothes to wear to the job if you can't afford formal attire. You can't go to college if you can't afford, you know, the student loan payment or even like the tuition fees or the cost of books or the cost of housing. You're not going to be able to working for a reduced rate temporarily to gain skills if you can't afford that lost income. And this, the biggest thing of all, saving money. People don't have extra money. They don't have any money at all. So how would they possibly save money? This is someone who replied to her her tweet where she said the solution to poverty is money. And she doubles down, which I completely agree with. Like people need direct money in their pockets. There's a reason why when the stimulus checks went out, so many things got better very, very briefly for like a week. It's because money alleviates all of the concerns. If you give people money directly, they're able to pay for food, they're able to pay their bills, they're able to put things centrally where they need. But right now they have no money, they have no access to jobs. This like false notion that they can just pull themselves up by their bootstraps. How, where are these bootstraps? If you're poor and have no money and you have no house and you have no connections, how are you supposed to get a job? Who's gonna hire you? What we need is to have more empathy for people who are struggling and to give them literally capital so that they can spend the money as they see fit. They know what kind of food they need. They know what they need to do to take care of themselves, but they're not able to do that if they don't have the financial resources to do so. So all of these wonderful programs that are really well-intentioned have a great place in the ecosystem of lifting people out of poverty, but the main thing people need is money directly in their pockets.